Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make it look like an enemy is actually attacking you and that they're moving. So the first thing you do is you go into animations and you make your animation. As you can see, I got one here. Um, next, you go into skill and you create your skill with the attack and everything and the effect rating and then you choose this animation. Now, after that, you go into monster group and you create two monsters with the same name. The first one has the stats you want to give it and it has the graphic. The second one has no graphic <clears throat> but ultimate speed. This way the attack happens as soon as possible. It won't be perfect but it'll be close. So now you go back to monster 1 and under action you choose to turn on a switch. In this case I named it after the monster. And then you tell it to transform into no, the second monster, the one with no graphic. Now you go down to monster 2 here, set your skill, and turn on the switch that you named after it. Or, uh, now, after that, you choose another one and you tell it to have 100 priority. But it says this switch has to be on. So it won't happen until they attack. When that happens, you tell it to turn the switch off. And you tell it to transform back into monster number one. You hit apply. Now go into monster groups and set your monster up. And now we're going to go down to battle events. We're going to go to the first page. For the trigger, we want the switch Amila, as I call it after the monster to be turned on. You tell it to take place after two rounds. Then go into variable operations here and make two variables. One with enemy max HP, one with enemy current HP. You can name it whatever you want. And set it to her max HP. Then go to the second one and do it do the same thing with current HP. This will, will determine later how much HP she has and when she transforms back will give her that amount. So you actually do the damage still. Then you go to the second page and you tell it after two turns to go down and subtract her current HP from her max HP. This means that any damage you've done before will still take place. Now we hit test battle and let's see if it works. Now the only flaw with this being that right there, if you try to attack her when she turns invisible, nothing happens. So you're going to have to wait. See how that doesn't work. Now, we'll wait till she turns back. And she's dead. <laughs>